Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Star Up here and I'm back at you with another Star Wars comic book review. This time from the Mighty House of Marvel, we have Darth Vader, issue number 28. This one's titled The Shadow and the Flame, of course, written by Greg Pak with artwork by Raphael Ianko. And this is a striking cover. It's one of my favorite Star Wars covers in some recent time because look at how devious the Emperor looks hovering over the shoulder with his cold, shivering hand over Sabe. Very creepy and that's what we get out of this issue here. So giving you a quick rundown, this issue is basically kind of a bridge between two arcs, I think at least. It's a good epilogue at the very least, the aftermath of what happens in the previous issue, which is this whole journey of Sabe and Darth Vader. They're trying to root out this, this governor of this planet that is actually a double agent for the Crimson Dawn. So of course we're trying to get rid of that threat which has permeated the galaxy thanks to Kira. So they have created this like devast world devastator weapon Darth Vader destroys it, but the governor gets away. It turns out that Sabe finds out that this governor was actually put to this by the emperor himself. Yes, uh, yet again, what a shocker. The emperor is testing the allegiance of Vader. So we have Vader take Sabe directly to the emperor at the Imperial Center Palace on, on Coruscant. And there's this long discussion about, you know, is Sabe really doing this for her own gain and all this kind of stuff. Eventually, the Emperor basically just sends his royal guards to kill her. And she cleverly runs around the back of the Emperor's throne to kind of have the, 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 the stupid royal guards actually continue to fire to almost kill their master, in which the Emperor channels that electricity and forces it right back at him to kill them. At this point, the Emperor Palpatine acknowledges the tenacity, the cleverness of Padme and says, you know, if you want to kill, still be the rags of the Empire, I got a mission for you, Invader. I want you to go to Skako Minor, which is the home world of the Techno Union, especially Wat Tambor, that's where he's from. Well, apparently his grandson is trying to upstart a rebellion or some sort, and he's got to, we got to quell that. We can't let that, that rise, right? So we go to this planet with Vader and Sabe, and there's these pirates that are you know messing with things so vader just basically kills most of them but one gets away on a speeder and he motions sabe to take that person out she can't do it she, she's not a cold-blooded killer but she defends and justifies her decision by saying hey look we got to leave at least one of these guys alive to see what's going on here so but that's the the crux of the story there in the meantime you have the story with og bestoon now he is still trying to find out where this governor went the one that fled the one that was put to this by the emperor leads him to Naboo, and next thing you know, he's getting interrogated by the Handmaidens. They want their Sabe, Sabe back from the Empire. They found out, yeah, she's not really cut out for that. This isn't our Sabe, we want her back. So this is the whole story in issue number 28 of Darth Vader. I enjoyed this one. It's just seeing Sabe dealing with the Emperor and calling him Anakin and the whole discussion of this is not Anakin anymore. This is somebody else. He's killed Anakin, and it's not who he was when he was with Padme. So really cool introspection here. I'm very excited for this is, where this is going to go. We know next month we're going to be starting the, uh, the not the Crimson Reign, that ended, the Hidden Empire storyline where we have Kira trying to kill Vader and Emperor. Well, we know how that's going to end. Well, maybe not exactly how it's going to end, but those two guys survive. So there's so much to do, so much to see, so much to read in the next couple months for that new Star Wars event. But I want to hear what you guys have to say about this current Star Wars comic series. Let me know in the comment section down below. For more on Star Wars, I have companion videos going along with Andor episodes every week, as well as New York Comic Con videos I put up and much more. So make sure you go ahead. Share support for the channel by hitting that thumbs up button as well as subscribing to this very channel so that way you'll get alerted if you do hit that notification bell icon for my, when my videos go live as well as my podcast goes live every Friday at 9 o'clock Eastern. I think that's everything. That's it for me this week on the Star Wars Star Raptor channel, whatever you want to call it. Yes, I am Star Raptor and I'm going to leave that in. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching and may the force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.